Hello everyone! These days, PCs are not that commonly in use because of laptops and smartphones, but they are still used to a degree for a number of things such as gaming. Gaming requires a PC to have a very fast working processor and a fully functioning CPU. There are a lot of variations out there, but nowadays, the most commonly used one is the AM3+. Plus. It came out a few years ago and is still used very frequently. There are a number of options on the market which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compiled the list of the top 5 best AM3 Plus CPUs on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. First we have Best AMD AM3 Plus CPU AMD FD8350 FRH KBOX FX8350 People who have recently bought and used this product have loved it and recommended it further. They have said that this is a great processor if you want to watch movies or dramas online on different streaming sites. Also, they report it to be great in case of overclocking as it still works well in that case. Its pros are Decent gaming performance Great software productivity performance One of the best processors for streaming More efficient in performance than previous models Low power consumption and works great even after long use However, needs a cooler to keep from overheating Not the best processor for gaming in some cases Some customers have complained about receiving bad quality products Bottom line is, it has a power wattage of 125 watts and it consists of an 8-core processor and has a cache of 8x8 8 8 MB, L2 and L3, and is the best AMD AM3 Plus CPU. Next we have Best AM3 Plus CPU for Gaming AMD Black Edition FX8300 Vichera FD8300 WMH KBOX those who are regular PC users, businessmen, or people who usually have a lot of data to share or transfer should go for this unit. Along with that, people who like to play a lot of games, take part in gaming competitions, or are generally professional gamers who can really use this product as it is really fast in its functioning. Its pros are, L2 Cache works in parts for most functions. 8 threads help with multiple functions at once. Great if you use multimedia software or are a gamer. Great for overclocking because of variable frequency. Two memory channels let data flow in multiple directions. However, power connection source cable is very small. Non-adjustable speed between the frequencies. Poor quality products received by some customers. Bottom line is, it consists of an 8-core processor making it the best AM3 Plus CPU for gaming and the size of the socket is 32nm and has a cache of 2MB to 8MB, L2, L3. Next we have Best for the Money AMD FX6300 FD6300 WMW 6KHK It is a great product that comes highly recommended by the people who have bought it and used it. It is great for multiple core capability, suitable for gamers with its enhancements, promises better performance than previous models, and does not have any content reading problems. Its pros are The secure design keeps content from being worn. Improved gaming performance and experience Does not have any errors when it comes to reading content Memory controller allows for compatibility with various cores Enhanced encryption performance is great for people who use security programs However, multiplayer gaming is problematic Takes time to adjust to overclock setup from normal speed Should have cooling feature for more intense overclocking options Bottom line is, it has a frequency of 3.5 GHz to 4.1 GHz base to overdrive and it consists of a thermal grease syringe and a 6-core processor making it best for the money. Next we have runner-up AMD Athlon 2 X4 640 ADX 640 WFGM box. People who have recently bought and used this product have loved it and recommended it further. They have said that energy efficiency helps them use it for longer without worrying about expenditure and it supports for virtualization technology. This means that it can be used in the making or building of virtual maps or schematics without a hitch or make a virtual environment of your choice easily. Its pros are, comes with a heatsink and fan, offers support for virtualization technology, 
Multi-core processing makes multitasking quicker. Over 50% more energy efficient in comparison to previous models. Optimized to become accustomed to power features of different software. However, does not overclock very well. Customers have complained about receiving subpar quality products. Needs to be used with heatsink and fan as it overheats quickly without them. Bottom line is, this unit has a power wattage of 95 watts, a frequency of 3.0 GHz, and it consists of a quad-core processor and has a cache of 2 MB. Finally, we have Best Overall AMD FD832E WMH K-Box FX8320E FX Series People who have recently bought and used this product have loved it and recommended it further. They have said that it is excellent in performance when it comes to gaming, especially hardcore or even competitive gaming. It remains cool even after long times of use and works well even in case of heavy files. Its pros are great for hardcore PC gaming, runs a long time without overheating, works quite fast even in case of heavy controls, uses less electricity in comparison to an AM3 processor, maintains the temperature of 45 to 48 Celsius during gaming. However, the power cable is a bit small. Complaints of a low quality product from customers. In some cases, a separate heatsink is required to make this model work. Bottom line is, it has a power wattage of 95 watts, a frequency of 3.2 GHz and 4.0 GHz, base and overdrive, and it consists of 8 core processors and has a cache of 8 by 8 MB, L2 and L3. There you have it, our top 5 best AM3 Plus CPUs on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and the latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.